coupling and uncoupling procedure. We have to make sure that our vehicle is secure. Make sure your parking brakes are on. Okay. And then we have to check the wheel chocks if they are applied or not. So we have to make sure that our wheels are chalked properly from both sides. Okay. So our vehicle is secure. So we have to make sure that our surface is hard and even. Now we will lower the landing legs. So we have two different speeds in the gears, low and high. We gotta see if they are going in a low or high. So it's a high speed. So make sure both your legs are coming down. Both legs are touching the ground and our handle is secure. So now we will disconnect the lines. So you pull them up to disconnect both. For electrical we have a lock here. So you have to pick up the lock and then you put your hand there and pull out. Okay. Now we have to secure them. Now we are going to hang them up here. Okay, so our lines are secure now. Okay, now we're gonna unlock the jaw from the fifth wheel. We gotta pull this handle out. Okay, the handle is out. So jaw is open. We can see the kingpin. So now we will pull the fifth wheel out from the trailer. Our fifth wheel is out, so our fifth wheel is fully out, okay. All the trailer weight is on the landing legs, they are holding the trailer weight and trailer is standing even. Now we have to move the truck forward, which way the examiner will tell you, okay. So turn the ignition on and wait for a couple of seconds because the truck has to do self check and then we can start the truck. So now we put our four-way flashers on and then we have to come out to do the inspection on coupling system, right? First of all, we will check our glad hands. There's no cuts, no damages on them. O-rings are in good shape, okay? Let me check electrical plug. So electrical plug, there's no cuts, no damage, no rust or dust inside the uh, pin, okay? So we'll check all the lines. There's no cracks or damages in it. They are hanging properly with the tractor and they are properly attached with the tractor. Now we're going to secure them back. Now we will check the coupling system. So fifth wheel lock handle is fully out. Coupler mounting plate. There's no cracks, no damages in it. All the fasteners are present, they are tight and secure, there is no missing fastener. Okay. Now we are going to go at the back, so our four way flashes are working and our jaw lock is fully open. So mounting plate, there is no cracks, no damage, all the fasteners are present and they are tight and secure, no missing fastener. Check the fifth wheel is tilting backward, it got enough grease on it, okay. So now we're going to start coupling, okay. So we have to align tractor trailer properly and we got to make sure that our fifth wheel touches the trailer when we stop it, okay. Let's do it.
So now we have to do the inspection on the trailer, okay. So fifth uh, trailer glad hands, they are tight and secure, okay, there's no damage to it. O-rings are in good shape. We'll check the electrical plug. All seven pins are present. There's no rust or dust inside the plug, okay. Now we will check uh, the uh, coupling system. So we have to check the coupling system here, apron plate. There's no cracks, no damages to the apron plate, king pin. There's no bend, no damage in a uh, kingpin, okay, and they've got enough grease on it. Kingpin is in the line with the trailer, okay, and there's no gap between trailer and apron plate. And do the tug test, okay. Lock handle is properly in, so it's in a locked position. There's no gap between apron plate and a fifth wheel. Okay, now we'll check the jaw lock if they're closed. So our jaw is fully locked behind the king pin. So now we have to connect the lines. Okay, so pick it up. We gotta connect it when we connect. We gotta put O ring to O ring like that, and then we push it down. Okay. So they are also color matched, blue connects to the blue, red connects to the red, right? So again, O-ring to O-ring, okay, and you push it down, okay? Now we have to connect the electrical plug, okay? So it has a lock up here, the lock goes up, goes in, and we have a lock here, it must lock it properly, okay? So lines are connected properly. So now we will pick up the landing legs, okay? So the handle goes on top of this rod here, okay. It has two speeds, one low, one high, right? So it depends, some has a high outside, some of them has high inside, right? So we gotta try to raise the landing legs and see if they're coming fast or slow. So they're coming fast. So make sure both legs are coming up. So we have to raise the legs all the way up and then you can turn back and hang it properly, okay? So handle is secure, both legs are up. Now we're gonna send supply to the trailer, push the red valve in and we have to check for any air leak and couplings, right? Supply line. So we send the supply line, uh, supply to the trailer, right? And we're here, there's no air leak in, trailer supply line and we have a pressure on uh, around 100 PSI. Now we have to check service line. So now we will check the air leak and service line. For that, we have to press the brake pedal and hold it there. And we have to listen for a leak in a service line. No air leak in a service line. That means our coupling is complete. There's no leakage in it. Okay, we can apply the brakes the trailer. When we press the brake pedal, we are listening for air leak in service line, that is blue line we have. Okay, red line is for supply. No air leak in it, so it's good. Coupling is complete. So pull the trailer supply valve out to complete our coupling and coupling. <laughs> 